Hey, what's up guys? It's Fail Trigger here with another Game Theory video. It's been a long while since I made one of these, uh, but yeah, let's get started. Today I want to talk about using the Force. Not like Star Wars, but using the Force as in forcing out guards with specific cards. Alright, now right we here we have an Armros, a Trip, and a Vivian. Now these cards I classify as HCE cards, Hit Confirm Effects. Basically when they... Uh, land a hit on something or the vanguard, then a certain effect goes off. Vivian, when she swings the vanguard while boosted, um, basically nets you a free unit from the top of your deck. Uh, Trip is a staple in most decks. Uh, she's a damage unflipper. When she hits a vanguard, she unflips damage. Simple as that. And Armoros, whenever she hits, uh, you can counter blast two to draw a card. Now, a lot of people don't really like using these units simply because they have to do one thing, which is hit. Um, so the effect's not always, you know, guaranteed. It's not like other units where you can simply call them out and use the skill or complete another easy condition and use the skill. <laughs> um, these units actually have to hit, so it makes them a little harder to use, but this is why I'm saying these cards are staples and why these units should be run. Let's look at Vivian first. Now, first off, Vivian nets you a plus two on hit, which means she'll either do damage and a unit, or she'll kill a unit and a unit, or she'll, you know, get rid of a guard from your opponent's hand, plus, uh, and yeah, so, essentially, she attacks, she kill, she, uh, you know, damages a vanguard, they take a damage, and she, boom, she puts out another unit on board. Either it can be a booster or another attacking unit. Uh, it all really depends on, basically, the luck of the deck, uh, because, you know, you can't really predict what card's on top of your deck and all that other stuff, but... Vivian does, uh, you know, force your opponent to think twice. They're like, huh, if I let her hit, you know, not only do I take another damage, that's fine with me, but my opponent gets another card to play with, and that means I can conserve more cards in hand. Well, what do I do? <laughs> and they're stuck between that. They're stuck between letting you hit them and you getting that extra card, or they're stuck between guarding early and, uh, you know, losing shield overall. Uh, the same thing applies for trip. When you attack, a, when you hit a vanguard, you want to flip a damage. Now, in Gold Paladin, we all know that it's a pretty counterblast heavy deck. Uh, most of your units use counterblast, and you want them to go off. Uh, spamming Azel is like the funnest thing to do, <laughs> uh, and getting being able to use that three times a turn is pretty pretty sweet. Now, trip allows that because she inflicts damage, and the same thing applies. Your opponent's like, huh? If I let her hit, he can rape me with Azel, or do this, or do that. If I don't let her hit, I lose a card in hand, or two cards, or a trigger, and that's not good. So, all over overall, she forces out guards, just as uh, just the same as Vivian does. Now, it's like an Armoros. This card is, in my opinion, the best one out of these three, simply because it gives you an assured uh, plus two uh, on hit, and she can attack anybody. For example, if she attacks a rear guard, your opponent's like, again, huh, <laughs> if I let this unit hit... Not only do I lose a unit and he draws a card, or I guard high, you know? It's one or the other. Do they want you to keep plusing cards and, you know, having more control over the game? Or do they want to lose cards to avoid you from doing that? Now, the reason you should run, you should try to run and uh, incorporate these cards into your build is simply because of one thing. They force out cards, hence the name, use the force. Oh, you get it now. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Basically, each unit will force the opponent to think and have that critical situation. Do I let them plus, or do I guard to, to get rid of that plus? Um, these units are just so fun to play with because you can always, you can just keep forcing out guards. And they're, in a way, they're damage sponges. For example, if you call a trip as a rear guard, you swing at your opponent's vanguard, they guard. Next turn, they will go after her. Um, and if you guard it, you know, they'll keep going after her. Um, and it's just, it's just very, very mean. Uh, because she becomes a problem card. Same thing with the, these three. They all become problem cards. And like I said earlier in my, uh, uh, you know, designated attacker game theory, I forgot the name, but you get it. Uh, you know, your opponent will have to choose between dealing you damage or getting rid of problem cards, which are these three. Of course, you're not going to run these three in a deck, but they're all the same similar type. They have to hit to get their effects off. If you hit, you get a plus. If you don't, you force out guards. So, if you can, and most of you probably will argue with me on this, try to max these out and try to incorporate them as much as you can in your builds. Simply because they force out guards, and that's a good thing. You want your opponent to guard, and then be at, you know, the situation where they only have two cards in hand, and you're just smiling over there on the opposite side of the table, you know, being like, <laughs> I can hit whenever I want now. Good game. Um, and that's really what the, card, the game's about. It's about, it's kind of a tug-of-war. Whoever has the most cards wins. 
if you have less cards, I'm obviously going to get rid of you. Um, you know, it's, it's the same thing over and over again. So if you can, try to incorporate these three cards or any of these types. Basically, if it has to hit, um, you know, go for it. Uh, there's different kinds. For example, there's uh, Providence Strategist, which is for Gold Paladin, but I wouldn't recommend it because you need a full field, and that's pretty hard to maintain, especially if you're going versus Cogros or something like that. <laughs> but overall, just try to use these units, and remember, use the force. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little lesson. Uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and sorry for the absence. More comment coming out soon. Later, guys.